Hey everybody, I'm Anna Huthmaker with Huthmaker Violins. Now, you have found another one of our Student Stuck at Home video series, and this is a fun one because I just wanna share you, with you some neat things that we have. When you come to our shop, a lot of people will say, oh, this is so neat, it's a violin shop, and it's almost like a museum. Well, that's because we have a ton of really neat, cool things we have collected throughout the years. I'm gonna show you a few of them. I call this video the oddities video. We may even have enough to do a part two down the road. So I'm gonna start with one of my favorites. We call them the baby violins, but this is actually a 32nd size violin. Now, if you started as a Suzuki student at the age of two, you would play one this size. So, and if you're a Suzuki teacher, something this size may not come as a huge surprise to you. Now, yes, it's very, very cute. But this is actually super special because what this is, this is the final exam project for the violin making school at Mitten, in Mittenwald, Germany. So you would go to school, learn to make violins, and at the end, at a certain point, they said, without us telling you any measurements or anything, you must make a 32nd size violin. And as a result, if you look at it closely, the quality of the workmanship on this thing is amazing. The quality of the wood and the materials is much higher than you would find for an instrument um, that maybe would be played by a three-year-old. If you look at the scroll, it's really quite lovely. So it's a collector's item. My parents bought it at an auction somewhere and we love it. So we call it the final exam violin. And just as a point of interest, this is an old French one. It's also a 32nd size violin. This was actually made for somebody. And it's kind of interesting. You can look at the differences between the two. You can look at the scrolls, they're different. Um, but again, also made with really high attention to detail. The workmanship, craftsmanship, the materials. So those are pretty cool. So the next thing is the clown violin. So the clown violin, this is super cool because we've never seen or heard of another one out there. Now we do think some were made, but we can't find any evidence of that. So this was made by Grand Jean, the violin maker in 1875. He was in Paris and he made it for a famous clown. And the clown would be in the circus and he would be playing and at a certain point he would push on the back of the neck and it would come flying off. The bridge would come flying off, the tailpiece, and what would happen is everybody would go, oh, and he would pretend to cry, like my dad says, and then he would walk off and go backstage and put it back together for his next performance. It's a really special thing. It's got a few issues, so we do not explode it anymore to show you that, So, but you can still get the idea of the clown violin. Our third oddity for today is this super cool violin. Now, if you look at it, automatically you're gonna see all kind of unusual things. You can look at the carvings on the corners. This is made by Derizé, um, but it's a copy of a 16th century violin made by Durfo Pukar. And it's got written around the sides in Old French, Honoratus, Derizé, Factor, which you've made. And it's basically in the Italian style, in the style of Italy. And it says Mercury. This is Mercury in the scroll. Isn't he gorgeous? And then it also says Pago. And we don't know who Pago is. And there's an F with a period on the top there. I don't know if you can see that. But we think it might be the woman that's on the back here. So we believe maybe this was made for her. We're not really sure. And then this, these are inlaid woods. And this is the, the town or the village of Brescia, Italy, which is in Northern Italy. It's where we think the Western violin was born. You can see the hand carved medallion up here. It's just a really neat violin. And it's one of our oddities. If you ever come visit the shop, we will pull these out and show them to you so you can see them in person. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some cool stuff.